Again, you've done nothing but whine since we got busted out. Yeah, Joker sends his girlfriend down and tells us to guard the tunnel. We guard the tunnel. Joker tells us to kill the bat. We kill the bat. Joker told me to kill my sister once. Did you do it? Hell yeah! Never liked her anyway. You're cold, man. Funny thing, he said the same to me. I told him I didn't even have a sister. He just kept telling me to do it. So I got in my car, ran over the first bitch I saw. Joker seemed happy. Ha ha. He's a barrel of lads. Kind of a mystery, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, but he acts all crazy one minute, and then the next, he's all plans and jobs. Ugh. Who knows what goes on in that head? Not our problem. But if he sends Harley back down here, we'll really be in trouble. Anyone got anything to drink? Nope. Got a handful of meds from a dead nurse back in medical. Took them. Not even a buzz. Where was she taking the warden anyway? Would you all just shut the hell up? This is supposed to be an ambush! Yeah, yeah. Just wanted something to take the edge off, you know? Just keep it down! I don't want to take any chances. Not attend your appointment today, but Dr. Quinzel has kindly offered to sit in. Stupid bat, always bothering Mr. J with your problems. You'll never be as dreamy as him. You're just an ugly, stupid bat in a trap.
Check my pulse now, Doc. It's not gonna be so easy when I'm not doped up. You're always doped up. <laughs> Suppose I am. Takes the edge off the day. That makes kicking the hell out of these orderlies more fun. You hear that? We're gonna kick you some more. <laughs> Don't go passing out on us. We'll only wake you up and do it again. It's the back! <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Batman. The guard wouldn't have lasted much longer. Is he okay? He struck his head when they knocked him to the ground. Move him away from here as soon as you can. Take him to the medical facility. It's the safest place on the island. Okay. I'll go with him as soon as he's able to stand.
please! You've got to help my babies! I'm really not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain, crying for help! Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. The security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We are trapped in here. There's always a way out. Always. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? Get me out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. So, you've discovered my true face. Please keep it a secret. doing this alone.
thought there was a spark between us. <laughs> well, now there is. I know, I know, we are shocked. <laughs> Come and get me, bats. I double dare you. Classification system deactivated. You want 
both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You going after that crazy witch? I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. For me. Did you see him back there? What was that thing he used? No idea. He <laughs> made our lives. Patient's name is Victor Saez. For the record, the patient has transferred from Dr. Cassidy, who is on leave after the incident last week. Hello, Victor. Please take a seat. Guards, you can leave us. Sorry, Doctor. Warden's orders. I can't leave you alone with him. I understand. Hello, Victor. How are you feeling today? Victor, I can't help you if you don't speak. Depressed. Does that help you? Can you get into my mind, Doctor? Why depressed? I'm just thinking about the one that got away. The one I chose. I needed the mark. I want the mark! This may take a while. The system blocked me out.
this will hurt. He's done it again. I don't believe it. I'm on my way now. Oops. Change of plans, kiddo. But I tried my best. Sorry, but there is no prize for second place. I'm afraid you're off the party list. Better luck next time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Die, you big ugly bat! That's my party list! Quiet. Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me! is <laughs> subdued and I have a print scan so you can find the secret lab in the gardens yes Harley's been everywhere on the island so I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll okay listen be careful I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island the gardens are showing up hot something bad is happening there Read a map, don't you, detective? Victor has been in isolation since the attack on Zagar last week. As I wait for him to be brought up to me, I have had time to review his note. I am increasingly worried he cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he views all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? What's happening? Meet Saz. He broke out of isolation. He's gone. Oh, God! Don't worry, Doc. You're the safest place. He's definitely left the island. Of course. But someone needs to alert the authorities. He'll need to kill again. Do you understand me? Needs to. Oh no. He's gone after Dr. Cassidy. Hello? Sarah, it's Gretchen. Listen to me. Hold on. There's someone at the door. Sarah! Do not answer the door. Can you hear me? Do not answer the door. It says he's free. I argued with the latest group of young, eager doctors. They bored me with theories and ideas, proving that they had no theories on how to cure these animals. Only one shared my vision. 
I offered her the chance to explore her dreams. She accepted. We'll make a good team. Oh! <laughs> 